we'll see what I can accomplish. Ooh, and it's kind of overwhelming. Christmas morning! <laughs> We're Erin and Brandon, an engaged couple in the process of converting our Ram ProMaster so that we could eventually road trip to all of the national parks across the United States. During the past month and a half, we have had highs and lows in the spam build, mostly highs. <laughs> but it fits like a glove on the first try. Like Classic perfect. head through the van. Yes. Oh! All right, first one. We've got lights. But converting a van is a lot of work, and the planning and execution can take a toll on you after a while, especially when the results aren't always visible. The van has been a wreck for about a week since I've been working on the electrical and just trying to finish that. But today, I decided that I'm going to clean up the van, just get a fresh start, sweep it out, vacuum where I can, and then keep going. <laughs> because it got a little chaotic in there. Now it's time to work. I've cleaned up most of the wires. I'm gonna finish that off when I'm able to wire the outlets. But I think for now, I'm gonna move on, close this off. I'm gonna put insulation over the wheel well and then close it off with wood so it has a nice finish and nothing can fall into those cracks. I finished the battery box, closed it all up with wood, and now I'm going to check on Erin because she is editing the episode that'll come out tonight. How's it going, Erin? I'm editing our episode for tonight. It's supposed to be coming out in less than four hours. So I think I should be able to do it. I mean, we have Father's Day dinner tonight, so I want to get everything done before that. Definitely don't have the worst spot, though. And nobody could find you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it all part of the plan? That was that big. <laughs> Today I'm going to start by getting this outlet wired up because I finally got these wire connectors. They're 3 8 inch to a half inch. These carefully route the wires through the back of the outlet so that they're not bouncing around. Now I can hook it up. And you can see my phone is charging. So it works. charging. Yesterday I took a mental health day just to not work on the van because I had like two weeks straight every single day but today I'm back at it and hopefully I can get the back looking nice. We'll see what I can accomplish. Here she is in all our glory. It's time to use our friend Craig to make some pocket holes. I'm so happy I bought this. It was way worth the money. want one of these Craig devices for pocket holes, I'll link it below. This was, I think, the cheapest version. It was like 40 bucks. It's highly useful. They have models that go up to like $100 that are easier to use, but if you want it, link below. I finished this back wall. It doesn't look super pretty, and part of the reason was because this piece of wood was bowed slightly, 
but it doesn't matter. It'll be in the garage and behind a bunch of stuff, so you won't really ever be looking at this. So we're just organizing and getting everything into position. We have our water tank here, which is gonna take up a bit of space in the garage. Brandon's gonna build a box around the water tank and the wheel well that'll have the plumbing come through to our sink over here. We also have our toilet in place. So this will be underneath our bed in the garage, but we're gonna have access to it by pulling it out opening it up and taking a seat. This is a nature's head toilet, which was very highly recommended. If you're interested in a nature's head toilet, we'll put it in the description below. We kind of went for the Bentley of toilets because that's one thing you don't want to slack on. Don't want the whole place smelling like number one or number two. It is so crazy with Brandon working full time. I try to get things done for the van during the day. Today, my mom and I worked on some curtains. By the time Brandon gets out here after work, there's just not a lot of time and then we're eating dinner and then we're doing something. So I feel like we're super, super slowly getting things done. Like especially this week has been really busy at work. So it's just, once I get out here, I'm tired, I'm spent, but just gotta push through and hopefully on the weekend we can get a lot done. Yes, we have the full weekend dedicated to the van. Oh my god, oh. Okay. What do we got? I think I hope it's a paddleboard. Flatten a little bit? Yeah, it's not the easiest thing, but it did take under 10 minutes for sure. Got quite a good workout. I'm a little tired. <laughs> it's up to 10 PSI. It says between 10 and 15 PSI is where you should have it. If we have two people on the board, I probably want to get it closer to 15. Or one, around 10 is probably fine. It's only supposed to be 17 pounds. It's very Super light. light. Erin can definitely carry it by herself. Oh, I could carry more than that. Check these fingers out. Okay. Oh yeah. Solid. Super good. We're at the point in the van build where there's so much to do and it's kind of overwhelming, but we really just have to chip away little by little checking off the tasks. So right now Brandon is working on measuring out some plywood to go right there. And it's slightly drizzling right now, so we're hoping that we could get a little bit of work done outside before the thunderstorm comes because that is what is on the forecast for today. Craig. This is a Craig. Craig. Oh, Craig. Craig. It says it right here. It 
was important to try to make this as level as possible because we're going to be putting the tiles on this. That looks really good. I, I really couldn't be happier with how this fits in here. It fits in really nicely. We'll try to line it up so it's as straight as possible. Here, since this is our kitchen area, we'll have a lot of subway tiles. So it'll look really nice with all the tiles kind of making it look like a clean, crisp, actual kitchenette. So that's why this has to be strong because while well, one of these doesn't weigh a lot if you get a whole bunch it's got some weight to it so we want to make sure that this is really held on here tightly so once we start adding all the subway tiles it doesn't collapse get some little sawdust on you don't you let's see there make it all nice and pretty what the heck what are you doing it's not working is it going the right way? Yeah. Sure. You're watch, right? Hey, it's going out. It's What's the wrong that? way. Yes, it is. And the right side is going out. He was right. <laughs> it was going the wrong way. Craig is not broken. Craig works just okay. Definitely start cleaning up. Okay, now it's raining. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. It just started downpouring. Even though the door is closed, there's some nice air coming in. Our fans are really doing a good job and the window being opened is really nice. And yes, I'm sitting on our toilet. At least we got this done, and we'll move on to bigger and better things tomorrow. Since today it looks like it's just gonna rain the rest of the day. Until then. But you know what that means. Settlers of Catan. I've been wanting to play Catan for probably all of quarantine, so about three months now, and no one's ever wanted to play with me. But they've always said, on a rainy day, let's play Catan. So this is the perfect day. Hopefully we catch you tomorrow after I win Catan. I got my dress! Oh my god, oh. <laughs> Just a little spill. Give me a hug, Specify, give me a hug. what's your dress for? My wedding! <laughs> Our wedding! <laughs> this thing attaches somewhere, probably to that middle thing, right? It's called a leash, Brandon. A leash. Come on, haven't you ever surfed before? No. I have. Hang loose. I'm I got excited it though. for you. I bought it! That's exciting. <laughs> Do you want to see it? No. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Around these puppies like the pioneers. Woo! Here comes the ride, I'll dress it. Oh, what color is it going to be? Red. <laughs>